Welcome to a special edition of Lean Bikes. My name is Brian. Now that I've finished my beach vacation, I've come to talk to you about a very popular topic, solving problems. I received a letter from one of my patients, I mean, um, a viewer, asking me, using lean thinking, how do we solve problems? Thanks, Edna, very good question. So what better place to talk about solving problems than in an operating theater at this large city hospital? I'm sure you're asking, why here? Because doctors like myself encounter challenging situations all the time, typically during a very important operation. Whether you're in a hospital or in a factory, the same process applies. And I'm going to provide you with some really great teaching to help you solve problems. Just before we get started today, we're gonna to cover the entry level or the basics of solving problems. You know, sometimes we have a complicated problem solving, but the simplest way to solve problems should be centered around three steps. One, stay cool and examine the facts. Don't panic and don't let emotions control the process. Two, from these facts, make a judgment call on what action is required and be guided by the data. And finally, three, carefully put these actions into place and do something, monitoring the outcome as you go. So I'm gonna quickly elaborate on these points. So firstly, let's look at examining the facts. So examining the facts involves gathering the unbiased data, which can be quantitative or qualitative, through observation, measurement, interviews, focus groups, and surveys. When we encounter a problem during an operation, we examine the facts like quantitative data, heart rate and blood pressure, and qualitative data like how the patient is responding. Once we have the data, we need to make a judgment. This is where we collaborate as a team, nurses, the anaesthetist, and myself, to ask ourselves, what is the data telling us? And how are we interpreting the data? This allows us to form a hypothesis, which is simply what we believe is causing the problem. We might have to gather more data or test our theory further. Now, if it's a life-threatening situation, we don't have a lot of time to debate our position. But in most other cases, we need to ensure we don't spend too long in the theory stage and cause the problem to become bigger. After examining the facts and building our hypothesis, we need to create actions and do something. Doing something simply means determining the action, working out what's going to be done, who's going to do it or the owner of the action, when it's going to be done or the due date, and monitoring the outcome as we go, or in other words, making sure our actions are effectively solving the problem. So quickly recapping the three steps to solving problems. One, stay cool, examine the facts, and be directed by the data. Avoid being emotional. Two, from these facts, make a judgment call by deciding on a theory. And finally, three, do something by putting actions into place and monitoring their effectiveness as you go. I hope you'll find these tips very helpful in solving problems. And thank you for joining me on this special edition of Lean Bites.